Hello there folks, Jose Rodriguez back again. It is Friday the 20th of May late at night and I just received a question from a viewer. He wanted to know what would be the most efficient way to not prevent per se but to reduce the chances of contamination of inks, third party inks to be exact. Normally what happens when you receive a bottle of third party ink, it'll come sealed at the top. It'll either have a little cardboard seal that you can peel off or precision colors, uh, aluminum seals at the top of the bottles. And you would then take a needle such as this, pierce it, and extract the ink. Well, was your needle clean to begin with? Probably not. My recommendation, if you insist on using syringes and needles, take a, buy yourself some alcohol swabs from the drugstore and use them to wipe the needle clean. Air dry it a little bit, insert it, and then you could be assured that you're not contaminating the actual insides of the bottle. Now, you could also clean the top foil before you first pierce it. And that will actually clean it quite well and go ahead and remove the ink that you need, load your cartridge with it, and you're good to go. But then afterwards, you have to really clean your needles. If you're going to keep going back to that same bottle and reinserting that needle into it. And if you're not careful, you're going to re-inoculate and re-inoculate the ink with what? Fungal spores. They're everywhere. They're all over the air right now, all over the surface. Everything has it. So you have to be really careful. And you cannot work sterile, but you can work a aseptic. And that's the best one can do. Now there is a biocide built into the base of the liquid ink that should handle any accidental inoculation by a few fungal spores, but you really cannot overwhelm the ink with it. It will grow and it will clog your printhead, and that is the end of the printhead period. On an Epson, that's the end of the printer. On a Canon, you'll have to buy a new printhead, obviously, because they are user replaceable, which is good. Okay, so what to do? Well, what I would suggest is buy yourself some ink, but the first time you insert that needle through that foil, extract enough to load one of these little bottles with it. Never touch this needle. And before you use it, you would actually soak this in alcohol, let it air dry on a paper towel, and you just have to make sure that the little hole in it is clean. Alcohol swab, clean the needle and just keep it plugged when you're not using the ink. Now, during use, you will simply take the ink, remove the plug on your cartridge, insert the needle into the hole. Of course, you have cleaned it with an alcohol swab. Insert the needle in there and fill your ink. And that's it. Wipe it again, put the little scabbard back on it, and you're good to go. If you're going to drip fill your Pro 10, Pro 9500 carts, basically the same thing. Wipe it nice and clean and drip, 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 drip until you are done. If you're going to actually insert some sort of tip into, say for instance, my situation where I have modified my T58 Epson 3800 cards and 3880 cards, yeah, you're going to actually be inserting something inside the ink bag. You want to make sure that it is clean. And again, alcohol swab just wipe that tip with that let it air dry a little bit make sure you wipe the uh, exit opening of the uh, cartridge insert the syringe tip in there and push that's the only time you're going to actually use a syringe i have tried using these to load ink into my t58s but it's really awkward and you could have a big splash of ink in your hands and that's not good so that's it don't buy. Also, don't buy more than you will use in a period of about six months. The biocide basically starts to break down and it can no longer handle any external attacks by pathogens or contaminants. So, after you've had your printer for a while, you know what your printing uh, frequency is and you know how fast you go through inks. So, try to keep your ink supply down to about six months, what you need in six months. A little bit more, a little bit less, doesn't matter. I have tons of ink, but I know how to treat my inks, so I'm not worried. But, you know, a lot of people just really don't realize that you can contaminate the hell out of these inks and it could cause 
a catastrophic failure of your printhead and it's happened it happened recently with a source of magenta ink that would easily be contaminated the biocide was not strong enough to handle even just general contamination from external sources such as a dirty needle so that would cause fungal growth inside the ink and that would then go into your printhead and burn it if you in the case of a cannon burn it in the case of an epson just clog it beyond help so enough ink for six months use clean your needles if you're going to use syringes clean your syringes put them in boiling water for a few minutes that's all you have to do it's not it's not surgery we don't have to have complete sterility just clean if you're just going to fill refillable cards I recommend one of these bottles these are outstanding and again you never touch that you only insert it into the plug you're going to wipe this clean insert that fill it and plug it back up and that's it like I said before anything can happen to this ink because you're going to go through this in a couple of weeks anyway you know that's all you have to do you don't need to do any kind of a extraordinary measures just make sure that you keep a nice clean working environment and you'll be fine all right that's it now if you guys have any questions any suggestions just like this gentleman did and i really really appreciate that ask me whatever you want i'm getting to the point where i just cannot really come up with many new things to demonstrate so i rely on you guys to give me ideas for videos and again at the same time i'm able to answer a question if i am able to if i cannot i'll direct you somewhere else that maybe you'll get a better answer than what i can give you so that will be awesome if you can do that for me now like i said earlier last video next to last video not the one where i was sitting surrounded by cartridges but the one before that there's a p800 coming and that's next friday i hope that um the seller ships it uh, tomorrow hopefully tomorrow saturday i hope it comes out but if it, if not it's just coming from texas so it might just take a few uh, days on the road ups should be able to have that at my doorstep by friday i hope and that will open up a whole new world for me because there is a lot going on with the p800 as far as third party support going at first it seemed like it was just going to be a dead end and nothing was going to be done and a lot of assumptions were taking place by people who are in the know which surprised me and uh, they apparently just don't realize what the chinese are capable of they can hack anything so precision colors has a great ink set for it already so nothing has been done to be able to hack the original cartridges they're identical to the T58s. They can be uh, probably treated the way I treat my regular T58s by uh, making them a two-way valve situation. I think you can do that because I think uh, Precision Colors did just that. They removed the ink and filled it with the inks that they are selling. And then they ran profiles. And they ran into a few problems, but I think it's solved now. But that should be awesome because that printer has an externally located here just like the the 3800s and 3880s do wasting cartridge so no problem this thing does not i wish it did so at some point this will reach the point where the ink pads will be saturated and that's it that's a service call and it's not a cheap one but um hopefully this will last me a heck of a long time before that happens i know one individual that did have that happen to him and uh, it was not cheap but at any rate that's it so please ask whatever you want in the comment section and i will try to answer for you and again thank you so much for the support subs are going up views are about average but that's great i'm fine and i don't need a million views a day like some of these trashy channels get this is more of a helping people out educational tech channel and so it reaches a smaller audience, which is awesome for me. I don't want to be classified as one of those types of channels. Okay, that's it. Shut up already, Joe. Go to bed. Please share, please subscribe. Until the next time, happy printing. Bye-bye.